President Abdel Fattah al-ambitious Sisi's new capital city in the desert east of Cairo is racing against the clock to be completed in time for the arrival of the first civil servants this summer and the postponed official opening of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi's project. Welcome to Think Rich Media, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business, and personal development content to inform, motivate, and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship, rather than global pity, is the key to Africa's growth and development, so if you're African and you aren't subscribed to our community, you're missing out. Construction workers are putting the finishing touches on an avenue of ministries that will be modeled after the architecture of Egyptian pharaonic temples and will border an elevated Islamic complex. An avenue of ministries runs through the heart of the city, where workers are hard at work on a series of institutions that are designed to look like Egyptian pharaonic temples and are flanked by a raised Islamic complex and two domed parliament buildings. On the other side of the park, the contours of a 10 kilometer long public space that will eventually lead to a massive mosque are beginning to emerge. In order to operate autonomously, the city, which will be referred to as the new administrative capital, will be built on virgin land away from Cairo's urban density and will be equipped with cutting edge technology to facilitate its construction. It will include educational facilities, sports facilities, and diplomatic facilities, amongst other things. However, because the money from the United Arab Emirates was unsuccessful after it was announced in 2015, the military and the government agreed to bear the cost of building Phase 1, which was estimated to be $25 billion in off-budget investment. Additional loans and funding have been secured from abroad. Because of the coronavirus pandemic, Progress was slowed and the government was unable to complete Phase 1, which covers 168 square kilometers. Across all projects, the completion rate for the first phase has surpassed 60%, called Al Hassani, the spokesperson for the new capital, announced. He also stated that the transfer of civil servants will be delayed for several months and the new administrative complex will be inaugurated sometime in 2021. Egypt signed a contract with Siemens in January 2021 to construct a high-speed rail line that extends from El Alamein, an important northern city on the Mediterranean Sea, to Ain Sakana, a red-dotted coastal city on the Red Sea. It is expected that the 450-kilometer line will be completed by 2023. During the later phases of the 1,750-kilometer high-speed network, the capital will be connected to various cities in southern Egypt, such as Aswan. A total of around 5,000 out of the 20,000 housing units are expected to be sold in the May Commercial District, says Kadab. In late September, Sisi's office revealed that the Egyptian government was allocating 1.5 billion Egyptian pounds, $96 million, in monetary bonuses for civil servants who are being selected to move to the city. Cities like London are said to have social housing included in their long-term plans, and officials claim that it will finance itself through property sales. However, it is unclear how much revenue these sales have generated. About $3 billion has been spent on the government district, according to Hassani. International financing has been obtained for railway links, and a $3 billion Chinese loan has aided in the development of the China State Construction Engineering Corp's commercial district, which was constructed by China State Construction Engineering Corp, CSEC. Sisi has proposed several large infrastructure projects and development strategies for the country. The claim that we are leaving the cities of Cairo, Alexandria, or Port said is simply inaccurate. The president stated that we will move forward with the old and the new working in tandem. 
the opening of the capital city would be the beginning of a new state, he added. Even though it is claimed that a new capital will reduce Cairo's traffic, there is also fear that it will be costly and out of reach for many. Infrastructure and security will be monitored by control centers, and solar panels will be installed on roofs, according to officials. Cashless payments will also be accepted, they added. The Finnish city is expected to have a population of approximately 6 million people, with the second and third phases being primarily residential. While construction on the city continues, the rest of the country will be able to carry on with its business as usual. This is due to the fact that Amr Khatab, the spokesperson for the housing ministry, stated that this was the case. Tens of thousands of homes are currently under construction, either partially or completely, on the side of a highway leading into the new city or are already half completed. The commercial district that has not yet been marketed is expected to be finished in 2023. Construction has begun on a train that will go to Cairo. This line will begin at Adley Mansur Station on Cairo Metro Line 3 and split into two branches, with one line going to Robiki. Each runner will run east of the Cairo Ring Road, keeping parallel to it, to Tent of Ramadan City, while the other runner will head in the opposite direction and move southwest to the new administrative capital. Along the road of the train are the following intermediate cities, Aber, Shorak, and Mostakbal. Giza will be connected to the new capital of Egypt, which is currently under construction via a monorail line. Thank you for watching. If there are any tips you think should be on this list but is not, leave a comment let us know. Help our channel grow. We hope this video has been helpful to you. Support us by liking the video, subscribing and turning on your notification.